Hi guys. Welcome to Friday, December 29th energy update and Oracle update. Sorry. I'm a little out of it this morning, <laughs> this morning as I'm doing these. Um, yeah, I'm just a little bit out of it. Um, because we just had the cancer moon yesterday. I do these like way ahead. So we just had the cancer moon yesterday and, um, it was very revealing. So by the time you guys get to this reading, <laughs> you're going to be like, Oh, holy crap. Super revealing cancer moon. Um, so yeah, so now we have, let's talk about Friday. <laughs> Sorry about Friday. So now we have the Leo moon. Um, and as we're waking up on Friday, the Leo moon will be square Jupiter. I love a Leo moon. I think the Leo moon after this cancer moon is really the cancer full moon and all of the healing and stuff. I just think it's going to be really, really good for us. Um, and um, especially just to heal, like to get to the end, <laughs> to get to the, I mean, that Gemini moon was a little bit off, off the charts as well. So um, as we're waking up on Friday, we have the Leo moon square Jupiter here in Taurus. And hold on here. Um, then, and is even going to be in conjunct or Quinn counts the moon. So I think that Friday could actually be like a pretty decent day. I think that there is, I feel like there's um, like a weight on everybody's shoulders on this kind of day. It's sort of like an emotional weight you're carrying around. But then we have Venus um, go from that 29 degrees of Scorpio and jump into Sagittarius like mid afternoon. So we're going to have Venus at that 29 degrees of Scorpio all day here. Let me back up a little bit. So we'll have this like most of the day. And then, you know, for Eastern time, it'll be like starting, you know, early evening. Um, the West Coast, it's like mid afternoon. And we'll have this in this um, ingress, this Venus ingress to Sagittarius. And... <laughs> I actually love Venus in Sagittarius, but that's because I also have my moon in Sagittarius. And when you have your moon in Sagittarius, you're a little crazy anyways. Um, but I love Venus in Sagittarius because this is the kind of Venus that wants a partner that's going to explore the world with them. And honestly, like Sagittarius just in general is that kind of energy. Like they, you can't, you know, the, the whole the whole phrase, you can't pin a cloud down is Sagittarius, you know, like in Aquarius, right? You can't pin a cloud down. Um, so um, this is a really independent Venus. This is um, the kind of Venus that is like freedom equals love kind of Venus. Um, this Venus wants to experience love because it is a part of the quest for life because love helps us to expand and love challenges us to like be better people. And we can learn a lot about life through love. Um, we can also learn a lot of, of, about life through jealousy and through possession and through like, you know, all of the shadow sides of Venus as well. Um, and um so this Venus and this Venus wants to have like new pathways, right? So I always love Venus and Sagittarius. I love that we're starting the new year with Venus and Sagittarius. I think that a lot of people would not agree with me on that, but um, I think it's actually a really great Venus to start. And I just have a little bit of bias towards it. So um, mainly they just really want to have a companion to pursue freedom in this world, like on this path. So. Um, and then back to the moon in Gemini, we'll have a late night trine to Chiron. So you may find that you're having a little bit more like open and emotional conversations later on in the day. But I generally think that this Venus day with Venus ingressing Sagittarius is going to be um, kind of the beginning of a really great, you know, um, like starting off the new year. Beginning the new year is going to be a little bit of like ball humbug, like the first of January. And we'll talk about that. But, um, you know, just looking at the bigger picture, I think everybody's going to start getting excited about the new year when Venus hits Sagittarius. So I know I'm so optimistic. 
<laughs> like sometimes people are like, why are you so optimistic about things? I, you know, I just, I just want to give, I want everybody to have a pleasant life experience. I really just do. Let's get an Oracle card for the energy for Friday. Love this fogged in. Go slow and take your time. I like this one fogged in. So even if things are feeling a little bit like you can't necessarily see what's coming or you can't necessarily see, you know, what's on the horizon or what's over the cliff or what's coming up for you, uh, the, the beauty part of that is just being able to um, kind of like come back to your center and slow down a little bit and being present with yourself. This feels a lot like the Six of Swords. A lot of times when I read these oracles, I the tarot cards, I've been working with tarot for so long, they'll just pop up in my head. And this feels a lot like the Six of Swords. It feels like moving from rough waters into calmer waters. And so right now may feel like things are a little discombobulated and you're not entirely sure what direction to go in. But if you just kind of give yourself an opportunity to like be present, and kind of still, you know, that stillness really, really will help in a lot of ways to bring some clarity to you. So I hope you guys have a wonderful Venus day and take really good care of yourselves. And I will see you very soon. Thanks for hanging out with me. Bye.